Patients with atrial fibrillations are commonly prescribed oral anticoagulation therapy and strategies to minimize significant bleeding without increasing the need for ischemic events. A post PCI is a great interest in this population. In the Onyx 1 clear post hoc analysis, patients treated with a Resolute Onyx DES who were event free at one month with a history of atrial fibrillation. Majority of these patients were taking oral anticoagulation. In this study, it was 87% were compared to the patient without the history of atrial fibrillation. So in this study, especially the AF patients and the non-AF patients were very highly complex patients. And here, 45% had ACS, 48% had moderate to severe calcification, and 75% had a B2 or C lesion that was treated. When we were comparing patients with a Resolute Onyx DES who were in atrial fibrillation and who were not in atrial fibrillation, there was an importantly showed no difference in these patient groups with the ischemic events. The composite endpoints of cardiac death, myocardial infarction was similar in the AF population and the non-AF population. Here it was about 7.5 and 7.3 percentage. Now, when we go further into looking into this group, the stent thrombosis rate was significantly lower in the overall compared to most studies. And in here, between the AF, which was 0.4%, and the non-AF group, which was 0.8%, and there was no significant difference. But the moderate bleeding was still higher in the AF subgroup. There was a significantly higher rate of Bach 2 to 5 bleeding in the AF subgroup and this was predominantly driven by the Bark 2 bleeding. There was no difference between the Bark 3 to 5 bleeding. It's important to note the Bark 2 bleeding is still somewhat important as it requires investigations, physician assessment, and time hospitalization for treating these patients. So in summary, Resolute Onyx DES has shown to be safe and effective in complex high bleeding risk patients with AF and intended treatment of SAP, that single antiplatelet therapy post one month of stenting. Further studies are still warranted to optimize the management of AF patients post stenting to minimize this bleeding risk.